Uh, right. Good evening. Um, welcome to the meeting of the Great British Rhythm and Blues Festival Advisory Committee, Monday, the 8th of August. Um, so welcome to everyone. Uh, have we got any apologies? No? Uh, we've got apologies from Councillor uh, Kevin McNulty. Right. We're happy to accept those apologies. Declaration of interest? No? Right. Minutes of the meeting. Uh, can someone who was there say if they're a correct record unless they've got anything that they want to amend or change? I propose them. Okay. Can someone second them? Howard, you'll second them. Right. Second them. Thank you. Right. The next item is marketing update. So I'll um, hand that over to Nathan. Um, so Obviously, since we've um, changed marketing company, um, Scott Dawson um, have been managing the social media and they've been doing some physical marketing as well. Um, so in regards to social media, we've reached uh, 189,997 people across all social media platforms, um, which that's um, generated 13,800 engagements. That's comments, likes, shares, that sort of thing. Um, they've done a variety of posts across the different social media channels. Um, they've done 26 on Instagram, 42 on Twitter, 53 on Facebook. Um, they've done a couple of social media campaigns where they've actually sponsored the post, boosted the post, um, and they've reached um, 60,000 people, which has then got people clicking onto the website looking the lineup tickets that sort of thing and um, they issued quite a few press releases including the barnfield construction sponsorship press release and um, the official lineup press release and uh, press release about the family fun activities taking place over the festival weekend um, and they're currently working on a press release for um, the banner sponsorship and um, they've we've been given 25 banners which you may have seen around the town um, to advertise the event, there was they were sponsored by the property shop. Um, so all, all we had to do was pay for the installation of them. Um, but the property shop have their logo on because obviously they paid for the banners. And um, they've also done a, a variety of videos um, to market the lineup, um, different sponsorship deals, um, interviews, that kind of thing, which they seem to be doing quite well on Facebook. Um, the gateway boards are now up. They've been rebranded. Um, they're quite eye catch to be fair. Um, they're at the four points where they've always been. Um, and obviously, like I say, there's banners all over the town. There's one at the Duke of Lancaster as you're going up. Um, there's one outside Excelsior, and they've been like, other locations around the town. Um, and Scott Dawson have also um starts with putting stickers in businesses uh, which is it's a like an a4 sticker that basically says shop local um which when they're going in they're getting the shop owners business owners to basically say what they're looking forward to about the blues festival coming and they're going to put videos together um as a another bit of marketing for the event uh, but so far the marketing seems to be doing quite well anybody any comments about it Yeah, I'm amazed that they got um, um, all the different people to um, do an interview, like Gary Hood, who, you know, started the Blues, Kevin from the Hippodrome, um, Tom, Tom, Tom Atter, who's a, a big Blues, uh, you know, he's done, he's worked all over the world, and he, he was very good, and they've had lots of people, haven't they? Oh, well. I think Europe rather than the world. Oh, oh America. Maybe. No, done, done I know he's, he had a fit when uh, he was invited to Russia and he thought he was doing a little gig and he walked in this place and it was a 2000 <laughs> seat arena. Uh, right. Yes. Bless. I'm, I'm, I think they were doing lots of things. Uh, right. And they've got other things in the pipeline. 
you know, trying to get um, Radio Lancashire and other people on board as well. Catering update, uh, Nathan. Um, so three catering pictures have been allocated. Um, they've now been sent the second half of the invoice, and I think there's only one that's still remaining to pay. Uh, we've gone out for an, another two pitches, one another food pitch that'll go outside the town hall on one as a ice cream van. Um they went out today and the the uh, deadline for them's in two weeks time. And then we'll be able to allocate those final pictures. Um and that's about it really with the catering. Everything's booked and it's right. in place. Anybody any questions about that? No? Did, oh. did you say three pitches now? Um, yes, three pitches have already been allocated. Um, that's two down at the bottom, uh, one outside the Muni, and there's the one outside the town hall, town hall that's remaining. Yeah. Do we usually get three down at the bottom or two? Um, it's all, um, Looking at previous paperwork, it's always been two. Oh, right. I know at one time they had the two ones and then they had a, and they had like a coffee, a, a, a mobile a ground coffee fellow were doing it back of a van getting you know nice coffee i'm sure there were three do you think there were three yeah, yeah before your time mate. <laughs> right i think some of that you haven't been out today, you've just been no. ironing. The, I think one of them was the wagon that we saw, the trailer that we saw in. All right. In for it. And I think at one point there was a little one that sold donuts down there. So I think it's that one that's probably disappeared. Disappear. If the Thai green curry van appears up, turns up, people will be happy. The uh, Thai van has booked on and they have fully paid as well, so they will be attending. Good. And Mary, can yeah. I just ask, is anything happening here? Are we having yes. a, 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 um, a yes. bar? Yes. 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 And we're having music downstairs as well. I know someone I know is playing right. um, yeah. and there'll be others. I, I, I don't know the others, but I do know that. Um, so a bar here. Yeah. But I think, is it... Is it uh, Corn Blue Society that are that, um, that providing those, aren't they? Yeah, at all the uh, other than the paid venues. Is that right? Yes. Yeah. Well, no, possibly speaking. Any venue that wanted to do Right. So I presume we are one of those, are we? Yeah, so Corn Blue Society have um, sourced our bands for us, which we're thankful for, and we'll get your invoice paid shortly. <laughs> um, but the town hall will be used as a bar. Um, yeah, which all the stock arrived on Friday. Um, we're having the Cascales put back in because um, they're sponsored by Novum Whisper, so that's been booked in today. Um, and obviously, we get so many kegs free from them. Um, and I've just set up the sound system downstairs, so it's one less thing to do um, close to the time. So, town hall. Should be buzzing. Should be buzzing, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's room to dance down there. Just out of pure nosiness, what's the name of the bar this year? It's no name because we've we've got Waterhouse. Yeah, it was oh. previously the Waterhouse bar. It's impulse, so people know what I you're know talking why they about. I did it last time, but it was people didn't know where it was. We yeah, kept saying, where's I think, this Waterhouse bar? Yeah, I think town, town hall. Town hall yeah, bar. makes sense, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. 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 it was at this building, Monty. Yes. So, with the bands here, do we get a running order, or is it just a fluid? We've got the lineup and running order um, from Con Blue Society. Uh, we are having a poster design. And then once we've got that, uh, we can obviously start advertising. We have got bands on um, here at the town hall. But um, I'll send out the lineup to um, everyone on the committee, just so everyone knows stuff is going on and will we have you, got stuff going on here. Will you be having a separate programme for the Fringe? 
Will it be in there? Yes. Yeah. Okay. When will our program be ready? Um, Scott Dawson are working on the program. Um, I've chased it today, but I've not heard anything back yet. Uh, but obviously, because they print it as well, they know they've got a deadline. Um, so there's no real concern yet on obviously the type deadline we've got because they're, they're printing it all as well. Yeah. Yeah, and I understand that the people who bought tickets need them, but we usually put them in the pubs and everywhere beforehand, you know, so that people can pick them up. As soon as I've got them, we can get them out. Because we've got 8,000, don't we? We have, yeah. Yeah. So we don't need that many for the people that are going into the... Right, OK. Tickets. Um. So looking at the spreadsheet, uh, we've sold 688 tickets. Um, that's not... 100% accurate because we sold quite a few over the weekend, but they've not been added because obviously mm. June is our annual leave. Um, that's not including camping tickets. Um, I don't actually have a figure for the camping tickets because the spreadsheet was locked. Oh, right. And I don't have the password. <laughs> um, I do but, know that, that um, what's he called? Fella up there. Bert. Bert has said um, at this time, other years, they, they sold a lot more this time. Yeah, and, and I, they had. I believe the ticket sales for the camping are record breaking. Mm -hmm. uh, we've sold more than we ever have before, which camping tickets seem to be selling every day, which is obviously always good. Yeah. It brings more people into the area. Of course you are. Um, I, think, I think I might have mentioned it to you about the um, shuttle bus and somebody at the breakfast club up at the rugby club on Saturday morning Asked, oh, it was Lee Turbit actually. Asked me, yeah. um, was there going to be a shuttle bus? They were a bit worried that there might not be. Um, because even though um, you talked about disabilities and that, it, it's an awful long way yeah. up there to here yeah. if, you, if you don't want to drive, you know. So, yeah. And we do have some people with, Sorry. well, we do have at least, I know at least one um, who's come in who has a severe disability right. and she wanted yeah. Yeah. to know yeah. that she yeah. could get up to town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think a few will. Mm. According to what Lee was saying, yeah. they desperately need that and they, they, they wanted to know as soon as possible if that's going to be happening. So the... The shuttle bus was previously sponsored by Transdev. Uh, we have been in contact with them, um, but it's not looking good at the minute due to the fuel prices. Um, however, we are still trying to twist their arm and say, look, it's good for your company to do it as well as helping us. Um, so it is something we are um, discussing every single day to try and get is it, is it? Does it come as a cost to us? It hasn't done previously, but... Is it something we could fund? Um, without looking at the budget, I'm not 100%. Um, it's something we'd have to, we'd have, to have a chat some, with Gina with to see if Could we get the somebody there. to sponsor it? You know, like Lee Jeward, you know, well, not, but somebody. Nathan, have you cut me off? Oh no. <laughs> um, well, I'm just I'm just concerned because they're so concerned about yeah. it, you know. So and you're right, because a lot of people are if they've been coming for the last 30 odd years, uh, they they're they're getting on, aren't they, a bit? So they won't want to be trolling up that. Yeah. Yeah. I ask about the bus because I didn't really realise we had one, to be fair. Um, is it sort of hourly or is it just a, what's, what sort of situation what did it used to be? Did it used to just go well, up and the, down? The first town, 2017, it went all round all the pubs. So it went down to the Rodney so people could oh, get down right. there. Okay. And it went round everywhere. Now, I don't know what it did. 2019, but we did have it on in 2019. Do you have any idea about what it used to be? No. But I do think it's important. 
I, I would have thought that a, yeah. a, a sponsor would love that to do that. A, a local business person. If, it, if it's um, a question of fuel prices, um, can that be negotiated? If it's going to cost more, it's going to cost more, isn't it? Can that can that happen? Well, I suppose it depends where the trans dev are happy to run it and just have us do the bridging between what it used to cost and what it costs now. But if they're not happy, if they can't be bothered to do it at all, I don't know what what the right. What it do it? Do we? Does it come as a, at a cost to us? It hasn't done previously because they've sponsored it in previous years. Does that mean it was free to the user? Sorry? Oh. Does that mean it was free to the user of the shuttle bus? And does it necessarily have to be as long as it was a reasonable price? Um, it, it used to be a free hop on, hop off bus. Uh, but obviously, that's another option we couldn't try and twist around with. Um, so that they're happy to um, pay a pound to get into town and a pound back, something like that. The only other thing I could think of, if they won't do it, is to get a local taxi business um, who we, we could um, say, we'd like to use your taxis all week, a minibus, because I know Escort have a, a, a 12, a, is it a 12 seater minibus? And we could say, can we look at that? Right. You but may find that the taxi firms are less than sympathetic, given that we've got a road closure in place. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, then they'll have. Well, yeah, but it's probably that. I seem to remember that there is a well-known philanthropist has um, a pitch, a place in Cone where they sell minibuses. He might be worth... Oh, you mean David Fishwick? Yeah. Well, I was, I was trying. Oh well, we could, we could, yeah. He's been doing. He's he's uh, he's doing a lot for um, Sea Ag, isn't he? He's got them a a, a mini bus. Can I use Sea Ag's mini bus? Yeah, so uh, these tickets, so are these all the tickets? That includes days tickets and weekend tickets. So this 688 is including all day tickets and full festival tickets. Um, I don't think it's including the complimentary tickets. Um, obviously, we gave out complimentary tickets for um, um, sponsors. sponsors from the Grand Prix, um, et cetera. So the 688 is just anything that's been paid for. Right. Can I ask about your selling tickets as well, aren't you, for the Gone Blue Society? I know, yeah, you, is it about 50 a day, is it? Or, or is it 50 for the, well, it's 50 for the whole weekend, isn't it? 50 pounds, I think. I've not been involved in that side of it, so I have no details on it. I haven't mm. even looked at it. I've had other things on. Okay. It was just somebody that bought full festival tickets were just asking about about it. Uh, right, volunteer update. So um, today I've gone through the shifts, um, you could say, for volunteering. Um, that's going to be sent out tomorrow to the volunteers to basically ask them what, um, what shift they would like to do. Um, and obviously the more shifts they pick up, the better. Uh, it's looking like we've got about 18 volunteers so far. Um, which is always good. Uh, the local scout groups also asked if they can volunteer litter picking. Uh, we are just checking with the insurers to make sure we can obviously do this, um, but they'd be uh, supervised by their scout leaders, which obviously if we can get sorted out, would be a brilliant help to make sure the um, street's clear. Um, but we are, we are on with booking in shifts for the volunteers now. Will they be able to be manned the, the merchandise stalls? Because they'll be handling money. Will there have to be a councillor there like they have been before? Um, I'm not 100% because I've never done it before. Right. Um, I know they did, um, but that might have been 
uh, because the uh, the person the um, town clerk before wanted um, I don't know I mean they were buying full tickets outside the Muni but really they should come here shouldn't they? Yeah, so we, we had a meeting with um, Alison Good and a couple of others from Pendle Leisure Trust last week, um, and they've requested that we have a, a, a box office outside Sorry. the Muni, oh, right. uh, okay. just because obviously if people go and say, oh, I want to come and get a ticket for the band that's on in five minutes, they're yeah. not going to come up here, so then go no. back down. Mm. Um, so we are looking at having a box office outside the Muni. Um, but that'll have to be manned by some... By either a councillor or a member of staff. Won't it, it? Yeah, it will. It, it might be the case that we need to um, get some events staff for the weekend. Yeah. But obviously it'll be beneficial because we'll be able to sell more yeah, tickets. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so it is something that we are currently looking at before Gina um, flew off to Crete. But as soon as she's back, we'll pick it back up and try and get it sorted. Good. Good, good enough, you Back to the numbers, I've just added them up. The 688 includes 24. The the, the numbers underneath where it says comp, the 688 includes that. Six, sorry, 688 includes 24 complimentary. Ah, I'll uh, make note of that, thank you. It's still bums on seats, isn't it? Oh. Right, and I think there's um, there's quite. A, I, I mean, I've I've um, asked for six, I think, and Gina. So he said the from um, the festival that comes from France every year. There's four of them, and then Tom Atta, who did that interview as well, and his wife. They have been done. I've seen them today. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so they they have been done. Good. Uh, right, street vitality. Um, so street entertainment, we we're only booking bus, well, arranging buskers, but it's becoming quite difficult uh, because they're either booked elsewhere or they're just not interested. Um, so it is something we're looking at. I've I've got uh, a meeting with uh, Paddy tomorrow to see if we can. Gives a bit of a, a, of a hand to yeah. sort out a couple more buskers. Um, but we've got the Bouncy Blues Brothers uh, booked all weekend, so they're going to be performing on the Saturday and the Sunday. Um, they'll obviously do stunt shows on the Bouncy Stilts and Summer Salts. Um, on the Saturday night, we've got the, I think it's eight-foot LED robot that breathes fire. Uh, that's going to do three sets in the evening when it goes dark. Um, we've got um, face painters booked um, on both days, which will be free for the children to get their face paint paint done. Um, the fun fair has been booked, um, and it will be up on the Red Lion car park. Um, I think that's about it so far with Street Vitality. Right. Maybe if uh, you're struggling for buskers, May, will the, the Blue Society know any, do you think? Most of ours are already performing oh, with yeah. the solos, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. I didn't I allocate any because it was in hand. Yeah. Uh, as yeah. far as Street Vitality goes, we have the um, Artisan Market as well on Parliament Street. The what market, sorry? The Artisan Market. Oh, the Artisan Market. That's on the Sunday, isn't it? Yeah. Which I can't take any credit for. That's Cone Bid. Cone that's Bid, yeah. Been primary in that. <laughs> yeah. And um, St John's are doing. So I, I, I'm not quite sure what Project Exchange is, but it, it's St John's here because yeah. there was Craft there was there was a bit of mystery about who the when they when they first were advertising for people and they're going to do it on the wherever the grass is from here yeah. um and in fact last time they had um <laughs> i'm going to say a stage but it's been a bit uh a back of a wagon a, a trailer a trailer yeah uh, i think it's, it, if it's sunny 
And there's lots of people sat out there. We'll make a bomb in our bar. <laughs> we will, especially to say we're doing alcoholic slushes as well. <laughs> oh, oh, no. <laughs> oh. Right. Anything else on street? Street vitality? Street, you know? No? Operational elements. So the uh, road closure signs are due to go up end of this week. Um, and obviously the road closure is now on the Lancashire County Council website, finally. Um, the temporary events notice for the High Street and the Town Hall have now also been approved. Um, and we've got the, the official document downstairs. Um, the first aid's booked and in place. We've received all the documents from them. Um, we've received our stock for the Town Hall Bar. Um, and like I said, we're, we're now just at a point where we're getting the Town Hall set, set up, ready for the Blues weekend. Uh, we've got paid bar staff coming in. Um, and yeah, everything's in place. And Toilets? Uh, toilets have been booked, so we'll have eight down on Queen Street car park, two outside the outside the town hall or on the car park. Um, the waste uh, services have been booked with Pendleborough Council um, and we have ordered extra bins, um, which will be along the high street. Uh, we've upgraded some of the bins to make them a little bit bigger so people can't use ex excuse that all oh, the bin were full, so I threw it on the floor. Um, so everything is booked and in place and been reconfirmed again this week. Good. Um, I think a couple of years back there was issues that there wasn't enough, I believe. Um, is that an increase, the eight, or is it the, a similar? Um, I, I just bought what I was told to book, so I think the eight was the original amount. But I do actually, I think we've got two extra because we were supposed to go to the Little Theatre um, and then we moved them to Queen Street. So we've got 10 at Queen Street instead. Um, so there isn't any of this end. There'll be two on the uh, car park just behind the flagpoles. Um, yes, yeah, so there'll be two up this way for obviously the Hippodrome. The, um, the toilets in the town hall will obviously be available to use for people as well. I think they were, there's always enough, but it's that people don't use them, do they? I mean, they can go in all the pubs and use their toilets, can't they? And the put and the and the pubs and the clubs and the bars are open all day and all night. It's just one of those comments that I've heard. Yes. I don't think. I don't think that there were um, as many as eight last time. Um, I, I'm assuming Queen Street, you mean at the, the back of the, the that garden? Um, yeah, so Queen Street, um, I'm referring to the car park in between the Crown and Tubbs. Yeah. Right. Dorothy? I don't think um, when you Really busy, yeah. Three thousand. It was thousands. Eight, nothing. Nothing. No. Twenty eight thousand. But it's nothing. It will never be enough. No. We had another four on, but it's still not enough. People. I know the I know the pub said they were absolutely heaving, but it were people queuing to go to their toilets, and that's when they decided this year that they'd have these bans, and so you couldn't come in. Just to go to the toilet, you had to buy a drink. But I think that's all gone by the by now, hasn't it? I don't think there's, they're doing these web uh, things. I don't know. Uh, uh, item 11, is that everything from operational elements? Yeah. Um, the pin badges, T-shirts um, have been ordered. We've got the polycarbonate cups and they've got nice blue stickers on. And they've all been stick stickered and they're ready to... Pretty much go. Uh, we've ordered the, we've done the change order 
which will be collected an unknown date. Um, that's yeah, that's about it for the operational elements. And will will these polycarbonates be on sale at the merchandise? They will, and it'll be limited availability. So yeah. get them while you can. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, update from Corn Blue Society. Well, we're, we're as close as we can be. Um, lineup's about ready to go. I know Nathan's waiting on the final one. Um, it is a moving target. As soon as you think you've got it finished, something drops in that changes everything. Um, but we're going to have to draw a line somewhere, so it might as well be here and now as at any point. Um, yeah, watch this space. We're, we're as good as we can be. Have you enjoyed doing it? I'm sure <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Sam will be helping, won't he? <laughs> <laughs> oh. My friends. Right. Uh, so, anything else? Let's go on. Just, just going off that, it would be help of an advantage if well, have you anybody that speaks French because talking to Laurent and his merry band of people from Beauvais maybe um, well it's it's they can speak but he has to see them himself he won't, he no won't no 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 I just meant talking to them about how they do it you, you may just get to cross fertilization because they're all it's about, well no Laurent's paid and but the others are all yeah. volunteers that do it um okay so this is the festival that okay I think the blues now I got them I've been I've been trying to get them to get local bands and I got the orchestra he went and saw them and agreed they could but I took them to other ones that were supposed to be on like the oh, air was it what they called it ross is in it and uh, the ones well the ones that have been on the last few years at the dresses and at the venue and they've been supposed to be going on at this year time and i've taken him and they weren't on and he wouldn't wait he'll only wait 15 minutes and he said i'm you know i'm missing so when i got um, ross and lily uh to do one and i've had sam all and What's the name? What's she called? Anna Nicholson and Ben. Because they will book, book local ones if they, but so, I have to pronounce Yeah, them sorry, out. this is the first time I've heard of this. It's, so this is a French festival yeah. that's looking for home based musicians to go out to France. Well, they come to, to look at the, the, to book someone from the festival. But um, they've also, they also, I tell them, you know, to go and look at the other local. Um, you know, I have to say, it's what's that? What I don't know what they call, but this one is a drummer called Robert Nutter. Um, I forgot what their band's called, but as I say, the poor Kestrel went, didn't they? And, and Lillian Ross, and uh, but I want more to go because they're not in on their paid stage, they go to uh, in pubs over in France and restaurants, but they get free accommodation, they get good, well paid, and they get all the meals because um, they have a hall and there's a local um, Italian restaurant and uh, you get a three course meal. Lunch, you go at lunchtime and you go at seven before the gig. And then everybody, and they all, they all have a chaperone. So there'll be somebody who's that band's leader in france for the, the, the okay maybe i can get some more details off you um to say yeah. I've, I've not come across this before so yeah if i can get some more information yeah i, I think jossie went once no i didn't do Did you not no i'm oh, sorry no. but yeah <laughs> so yeah but he's he's um he's always looking for uh I mean, they've got 
Um, it's a it's a much bigger thing than 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 here, but it's it's a different model. Is that everything? Items for future agenda. Items for future agenda. Oh yes, I didn't see this on the other side. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So we. No. Are we all right? Then we don't need another date as yet. Usually we have it late September, don't we? To sort of have a feedback of what went well and what didn't work. So if we can look at some time before the end of September, near, very near the end of September, Nathan. All right. Yeah. Okay. Are we 